But the mother is not superwoman, so she can't 24 all the time, 24 hours a day, constantly holding the baby in her arm. There's going to be time that mother has to put the baby in, in his creep and let the baby sleep or rest. The mom has to go take a shower or mom has to go eat something or mom has to answer the door because postman arrived and they delivered something. There's going to be moments that the baby is going to be left out or the baby is sleeping and parents are sleeping and the baby wakes up and is alone by itself. And maybe for half an hour the baby is awake and there's no one attending to the baby because the baby is quiet, it's not crying, but the baby is frightened. It's scared because it's left out. is not attended to. The baby is maybe cold. Maybe it's hungry. Maybe it's got some pain. It's growing some tooth or something, or it's got a belly ache or something. But it's left out. So that, the first imprint as a child when you're born, entering into the world, You're having this imprint deep in your subconscious that you've been left out. A deep imprint in our psyche of being abandoned. You've been left out. You've been abandoned in the very beginning of entering into this life, in the very first few days of being alive, your first imprint is being left out, being abandoned. Are you with me? Are you here? Or are you asleep? Am I talking to myself or we're here together? Yeah, good. Okay. Do you hear? Did you hear what I said? Do you, did you hear? Are you present with me or you're meditating or you're gone? I need you to, I need to make sure you understand this part because this is very important. All of your decisions in this life are coming from that place. Every decision you make in this life is coming from its roots. It's rooted in a sense of abandonment. Your fear of being abandoned is always there. That's why you collect cats, dogs, boyfriends, girlfriends, kids, partners, more homes, more cars, more money, more security. It's all rooted into the fear of being abandoned. I want you after today to spend some time, be quiet today, spend some time on your own and look back and see when you're making your life decisions, where does it come from? Really pay attention. Follow the, 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 your decision and see where it's rooted. And you will see that its roots is through the sense of abandonment. So you're yearning. So you are in a battle because you're not aware of this. No one ever told you this. So you have no idea what is haunting you. And 
you go through your life trying to fill up this gap because it's nagging and it's there. Now, if you're growing up and then at age nine or eight or five, mom and dad decided they want to separate. So most of the time we're left out with our mom and dad, we don't have that. Dad leaves. I was lucky that never happened to me, thank God, not at least physically, but I know it. So now, see what happens. I'm going to explain this other part of it to you and see if you identify with it or if you look at it with your kids see how they react with this issue. Now, one of the parents leaves. Most of the time it's dad, typically. And the child is left out with mom. Now, your first imprint, which was an abandonment, because at one point, as I, let me explain this part again so it's clear. The mom cannot or the dad cannot be 24 hours a day with the baby. They can't hold the baby to next to them. At one point, you have to leave the baby. You have to put the baby down to go do whatever you have to do. So the baby is going to be left out at one point. Some moms are not even attentive because they're having two jobs. They're single. They have to do this. They have to do that. Their babies immediately goes to a nanny or immediately goes to nursing care or whatever. So now it's a deeper sense of abandonment there because, as I said again, the the two people who you're take you're caretakers and your lifeline and you only know these two and you love them and you're desperate to them and that's the only people you know is they they leave you and you don't understand why they leave you but they leave you so naturally as a race we suffer unconsciously a sense of abandonment a sense of being lonely left out so you carry this all your life with you and then if you get further abandoned because dad left you at age five or eight, nine or whatever. Now that gets more reconfirmed and it gets, the wound opens up and gets deepened. So that's one part, okay? So you're already wounded by entering into the world, but you're not aware of it. Now, some moms, they, philosophy is, okay, you know, I leave him, leave her, leave the baby in the room. Okay, let, let the baby cry, and then finally the baby is going to fall asleep. It makes sense. But the baby's left out in a dark room or somewhere all by itself. So now you start developing the fear of darkness and this being in this empty space of being all by yourself and mom or dad is not there to tending to you. 